Hello there everyone, it is Mitsu here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we will analyze some roles of the double pivot. Before we begin, I would like to thank Econo Coaches Academy for sponsoring this video. Econo is the best way in order to improve your football knowledge and tactical sense. With 18 years of experience, Econo have worked with the likes of Paris Saint-Germain, Carlos Puyol, Jordi Alba and Christian Pulisic. After signing up, you will be getting new weekly content in the form of videos and much more. On the screen right now, you can view a sample of these videos. They offer two types of memberships. Make sure to enter the code MITSUJR to get your first 15 days for free plus 50% discount on your first 3 months of the membership. The link will be in the description down below. So to start off, let's understand what is actually meant by a double pivot. A double pivot is simply using two defensive midfielders together on the pitch. You can say that the most common formation whenever a coach likes to use this concept is the 4-2-3-1, where the two in the midfield are usually defensive mid players behind the attacking and wide mid players. Keep in mind that these two players should not have the exact same traits whatsoever. In these clips, Declan Rice and Calvin Phillips form the double pivot. Notice how during the build-up plays, one of them would drop down between the defensive line in order to help it stretch as the fullbacks move forward, while the other player would try and move around to create passing options in order to counter the opposition's high pressure. Obviously, this requires both players to have a lot of chemistry to be able to distribute such roles and understand the positioning of each other. Depending on the pressing status of the opposition and also on which side of the pitch would the team like to build the attack from, both players may switch these roles. So someone would be asked to play up front while the other one would be playing a bit backward compared to his teammate. This requires a lot of scanning as this player needs to keep on creating passing options to his teammates and avoid losing possession at all costs. Obviously, as the attack progresses, the double pivot moves forward while keeping the same concepts. While applying the high pressure, one player would perform the press while the other would mark any opposition between the midfield and defensive lines. You do not want to give the opposition the ball behind your double pivot. So as you are applying the high pressure, you are taking some risk in breaking the organization. That's why the immediate coverage to that risk is the man-to-man -man marking from the other player who is not applying this pressing. Try to take the advantage from the pressure that the front three are already making and catch any opposition of guard in the midfield. If you are the one that will be applying the press, make sure to block any passing lanes behind you and force the opposition to pass it backwards if you did not intercept the ball. If you are not the player who will apply the pressure, quickly look for any movement from the opposition between the lines and mark them. Here comes the role of the good chemistry again, as you can see the players did not literally say to each other like ok, I'm going to press, cover my back. No, this does not happen, so you need to have quick reactions and understand each other's movement. You also need to identify any opportunity to press the opposition. Make sure to check out best soccer store if you want cheap and high quality football jerseys. Do not forget to use the code MITSU to get $4 off at the checkout. Head over to www.bestsoccerstore.cn One player needs to constantly help the team offensively with such off-the-ball movement. Try to perform as many runs as you can and keep in mind that you do not always have to get the ball at the end. By these runs you are creating spaces for your teammates and more importantly grabbing the attention of the opposition, which will eventually result in pulling some defenders out of position. The more you do these, the more active your team will get offensively and that's exactly how you can react to medium or low defensive blocks. Remember that only one player from the double pivot should do this at a time, while the other one should stay backwards. When using a double pivot, the managers go for such a formation to mark the areas between the midfield and defensive lines. So you need to make sure the opposition does not receive the ball in that area behind your double pivot. Both players need to control the space between them and look for any movement behind them, while also helping the fullbacks for example during any overlaps and underlaps 
and also applying the high pressure. A better double pivot is the one that can perform different roles without showing that they are strictly positioned in the defensive mid area. So the main aim is to be close to your defensive line and force the opposition to play the ball to one of the sides. This needs a lot of understanding and chemistry as we said, but it also needs the players to have good tactical sense. The players should know when and where to be positioned, when to switch their markers, when to press the opposition, and when to stay backwards and keep compact lines. Because remember that the coach doesn't tell you what you need to do each and every minute on the pitch. You need to make the difference yourself. And one of the best ways of doing so is the one that you can see on the screen right now, which is scanning the pitch. As you all know, I have posted many videos on this topic, but we always come across it during different positions or different types of videos. And guess what? The defensive midfielders also need to keep on scanning the pitch and check their shoulders a lot before receiving the ball. And even while they are somewhat out of the play, this will give them a better understanding of what's happening around them. In this example, you can see how Phillips noticed that Luke Shaw will mark the opposition and that there is a passing option behind him, so he blocked the passing lane. Remember that it is all about the quality and not the quantity, so it's about the information you gather after scanning and not the amount of times you move your head. I'll leave some links in the description below if you are interested in watching more about this topic. One of the most common mistakes is the double commitment. Whenever both players go for the same tackle, if they miss it as you can see on the screen right now, the opposition will have a very dangerous opportunity as they already have the ball between the lines. So here Declan Rice tracked the opposition back, but he was late as you can see and England were caught out of shape, which helped the opposition progress the attack and have the ball inside the box with three players. In most cases, the double pivot will not be able to intercept the ball back after falling in this mistake. Another mistake that happens a lot is whenever the opposition goes for a direct pass from the defensive line during the build-up. Sometimes the double pivot will not be expecting such a pass, so this will immediately get rid of all the benefits of using a double pivot. Not only that, but this will also mean that your team will be out of shape with the opposition owning the ball between the lines. So that was it guys, I've received some comments on covering this topic, but I've also received some other comments about doing a video on the defensive mid position alone. So I'll make sure I cover this position like I did with the other positions on the channel. I'll upload this video as soon as possible. I'm also working on some other positions as well, so let me know if you have any suggestions. You can directly message me on Instagram, I'll leave the link in the description down below. So as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.